Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to get straight into the video. So for primer I use the new Benefit Pore Professional Matte Gel Primer. Um, and I'm just using a small stippling brush and placing that all over her face. Then for foundation I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC37. And just placing that all over her face and then blending it in with a beauty blender. So I quickly did want to mention that she wanted a full coverage makeup look even though she may not need it. I don't want comments saying, oh my god, she doesn't need that much makeup. Oh my god, you put too much makeup on her, blah, 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 blah. It was her birthday and she wanted to go out full coverage, full glam. So that is what I gave her. So yeah, I just thought I would quickly mention that before I get comments. Then for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the lighter shade and just placing that underneath her eyes to conceal and highlight. And then I go ahead and place it on her forehead, down the bridge of her nose, Cupid's bow, on her chin and then on the sides of her mouth. Then going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm just using that on that same beauty blender and packing that underneath her eyes to set her concealer. Then going in with my fave setting powder, which is the Australis Fresh and Flawless in the shade Darkest Brown and just using that to set the rest of her face. Then for brows, I'm taking the Anastasi Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette and I'm just using the shade Soft Brown on my Pony Cosmetics eyebrow brush and very lightly filling in her brows because she doesn't even need it. Her brows are freaking amazing naturally. I'm so jealous. Then just taking that Maybelline Fit Me concealer again and I'm just using that to carve out her brows. Then taking Hula by Benefit Bronzer, I'm just using that on a angled brush by Spectrum Cosmetics and just placing that in the hollows of her cheekbones, along her jawline and then temples and forehead. Then using the Laura Mercier translucent powder again, I'm just using that on that same beauty blender again and baking underneath her contour. Then for blush, I'm using the Balm Hot Mama. This is literally my favorite blush ever. It's super glowy and it looks beautiful on every single skin tone. Then for highlight today, I'm using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped and I'm using Moonstone and oh my god, how gorgeous does this look? I'm dying. Then for eyeshadow, I'm going in with Coco Bear, my makeup geek, and using that in her crease as a transition shade. Then I'm taking Fudge Single Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm going to be packing that all over the mobile lid, and as I'm doing that, I'm going in with a blending brush, then packing it blending brush, packing more product until it's at the pigmentation that I want it to be.
Then taking, oh god, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Noir? <laughs> the Black Matte Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just concentrating that mainly on the outer corners just to deepen it up and make it even more smoky. And then to line her waterline, I'm using the Maybelline Gel Studio Liner in Black. Then to smoke out her lower lash line, I'm using Fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills, just on a small tapered brush. Then just using a narrow sort of blending brush, I'm just using that to blend everything together. Then for mascara, I'm using the Benefit There Real and just coating her top and bottom lashes. Then for falsies, I'm using the Model Rock Lashes in the Style 212 just with my Duo Lash Glue. Then for lip liner, I use the Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lip Liner and then for lipstick, I use MAC Velvet Teddy. And then over the top of that, I use the Curtis Collection Lip Velvet in, hold on, let me just find the color, Sugarberry. And then for round two, I'm using the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter and just placing that on the highest points of her cheekbones. And then also in her inner corners, and this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.